Okay, well, good afternoon. My name is Anthony Cole. We're at uh, Chatham Bars Inn in Cape Cod, Massachusetts. And today I'm going to show you how to make uh, sole fish in puppy oat. Uh, basically, we have fresh Atlantic uh, gray sole that we're going to wrap in puppy oat or paper. Um, first step we're going to do is we're going to get our paper cut in the right shape. So we're going to fold it over halfway. And this is a standard parchment paper you can find in a good restaurant supply place. You can even probably ask a local restaurant for a couple sheets. We're actually going to cut it um, after we folded it now um, almost in a heart shape. So we're going to go start at one corner where the fold is here with this crease and we're going to kind of cut an arc around to the edge there. Then we're going to cut another arc and kind of going down to get that heart shape. We want to leave enough paper on like so. So when you open it up, similar to a heart, not quite. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to start with our fish. Some nice fillets of sole. We're going to place that right in the center there. We're going to season it. A little bit of salt. And a little bit of fresh ground pepper. One of the reasons why I like this dish a lot is you can use any kind of seasonal vegetable or any flavors you want. Um, today we're going to have some fingerling potatoes that we've cooked off. Um, we're going to add some different colored cauliflowers. We've got beautiful different heirloom cauliflowers here. Um, and right now in summer season so we have great little tiny squashes, patty pan squash and zucchini. So all these things are going to go in the center on top of this fillet. I'm just going to grab a little variety. And it's okay if they, a little bit falls out, that's okay. A little bit on the side will be fine. And we're actually going to make a sandwich with the second fillet afterwards. A couple of the little yellow squash. I put the vegetables in the middle as well because it helps to speed up the cooking process. It separates the two fillets. Okay, now we're ready for the second fillet. And that's going to just go right on top in the opposite direction. I like to keep the flesh side up and skid side down on both. Um, just so that way when you open it up, it has a, a nicer appearance. Again, a little more salt and pepper. And this recipe works with pretty much any fish, um, except for like tuna. Last, before we start to fold it all up, I've got some basil butter here. Um, very, it's a pretty easy process. You puree some uh, fresh basil with a little bit of olive oil, uh, and you just whip that into uh, softened butter. If you don't want to do that, you can always just sprinkle some beautiful fresh herbs and put a couple nubs of butter on top as well. Now the basil butter is just really going to kind of melt every melt melt in and you know moisten up the fish a little bit, and everything's going to get wrapped in the parchment next and just fold it back over. And you're going to start at the, the tip of your corner here, and you're just going to start folding almost like you're crimping a pie pie dough. And as I crimp, kind of fold those creases over. And I'm going to work it so it's almost in a half circle or semi-circle when we're done. Just kind of up and over. Getting a nice tight seal all the way around. And you can see you start to get a buildup of paper, and that's why we're going from the tip of the heart to the end. We have less paper on the end on this side because we have the buildup that's we're folding over. And that last fold, you really want to kind of make sure those ends are nice and tight. Okay, so now we're just going to put that onto a baking sheet. And that's going to go in our oven uh, for about a half an hour, 
uh, to 20 minutes depending on the heat of your oven. Usually I cook it about 400 degrees in a convection oven. Um, for at home, in a regular oven uh, that's not convection, I would say maybe a half hour. So this has been in the oven for about 20 minutes. Um, a good way of telling you is the, the paper gets a little brown, um, and the, especially on the edges here, uh, and that's what you're looking for. And really just serve it. I like to serve it in the paper. Obviously, you want to let your guests know not to eat the paper, but um, it's always nice to open it right in front of them as well because you get a, just a beautiful aroma and the steam of the fish itself comes out. And you can just tear this open. You can see it's with the basil butter, it's almost created its own sauce. Fish is cooked beautifully, and all the vegetables there. It's a really, really healthy way to prepare fish. Very easy, and not a lot of dishes.